Hello friends and family. It is Tuesday, December, December, September, I think I have Christmas on the brain. Uh, September 8th. Welcome to our boring meditation stuff. Today I wanted to talk about dangerous conversations. Um, I watched a little uh, interview with a monk recently. Uh, he's a Canadian monk. I think he lives in BC and he he brought up an interesting point that I actually think is relevant here um, since I'm putting these ridiculous videos out there for anyone to watch um, and the point was that it is actually against the rules for monks to discuss their accomplishments um, and very explicitly forbidden for them to um, to claim that they have an accomplishment or that they have reached a certain state in meditation that they have not and I think it's worth going into why this is actually dangerous um, and what it means for us as lay practitioners, as beginners in particular. Um, for the monks, this is particularly dangerous because they are teachers. They're teachers of meditation. People look up to them. And if they make a mistake in evaluating what they've seen or what they've experienced, they could really hurt someone else um, by teaching incorrectly or by saying something which is inaccurate. And the same is true for us. So we are not meditation teachers. We're barely even meditation students. <laughs> We're absolute beginners, right? But as is the case with these videos, we're talking to one another. Um, people are sending me messages and um, I'm trying to construct the videos around the ideas that people present. And if we say something to one another about meditation, um, there is a good chance we'll get it wrong, right? We are beginners. And so we have to be exceptionally careful about discussions of the various stages of meditation, the various accomplishments that there are within the scope of meditation practice. Um, and on some level, it's sometimes best just not to discuss those at all. Um, in my experience, with other lay meditators, other beginner meditators, it is often the case online, offline, um, that the roots of such a conversation about one's accomplishments in meditation tend to be kind of unhealthy. Um, it, it tends to be about a pride or ego or something like that. Um, even if one doesn't necessarily see it that way to begin with, you can reflect on those conversations years later and realize, oh, okay, actually it wasn't helpful to be talking about that. Um, and for us, it will very rarely be helpful to talk about things like that. So um, I think that it is important to call these things out as dangerous. Um, and important uh, for me specifically <laughs> to avoid accidentally uh, claiming that I have some sort of um, accomplishments or any accomplishment in meditation. Uh, I think it's safe to say I have none. <laughs> <laughs> of the of the concrete markers um, of accomplishment in meditation, I'm very very much a beginner, uh, and that's 
part of the reason that these videos are tailored to an audience of friends and family is because um, it's meant to be a discussion amongst peers of beginners uh, about the stages, the beginning stages, no accomplishments, just uh, how to begin. So I, I think that that's worth keeping in mind, especially if you begin um, to practice more seriously, if you take a course or three, um, if you end up having conversations with meditation teachers and uh, you find yourself curious about different states of mind, things like that. Um, a meditation teacher is always a better person to have these conversations with than another beginner. Um, with that, uh, I'll close for today. I'll keep this one shorter than some of the, the recent videos have been. I hope everyone is taking good care of themselves. I hope you are taking good care of everyone around you, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.